Hello everyone, Arlo Knox from HandyDraft.com. I've got a real cracker of a project to show you today. I bought this chest of drawers at the charity shop. It was super cheap and when I saw it, I just thought, wow, what character. Um, of course, it's run down, you know, people have had a go at kind of uh, refurbishing it in the past, but it looks a bit of a sorry state. I'm going to be daring with this one and I'm going to use a real strong colour to really bring out the character that I believe this thing has. So first of all I'm going to use my orbital sander to sand it down. If you haven't got an orbital sander you can use an other sander or of course you can use your good old hands. And you know, you don't have to worry because you're not going to take all the paint off. You're just going to rough up the existing paint so that the new coat of paint bonds nicely. Before you start sanding, unscrew all the knobs and put them in a safe place. Find a well ventilated space and start sanding. For less cleaning hassles, sand outdoors. Sand carefully throughout to ensure a smooth finish and be careful that you don't sand off too much. So now that I've finished with the sanding, um, the first thing I'm going to do of course is give it a good wipe down because it's covered in dust and then I can start painting. Use a damp cloth to wipe away any excess dirt and allow to dry. Another good tip for being resourceful, save your ice cream tubs. Absolutely brilliant to use these when you're painting and of course smaller jobs you could use you know, old yoghurt pots as well. It's uh, such a great sort of freebie that you get you know, when you buy your ice cream. If you were to buy a tray for you know, rolling your paint on you can pay quite a bit of money so good tip. So first I'm going to take out the drawers of course. I put these aside. So I'll work on painting the body first, and then once that's done, I can focus on the drawers. So I've got a, a lovely sponge roller here. These are absolutely brilliant for um, painting furniture like this because you don't get the brush strokes. And of course, you know, if you want uh, a more clean finish, then these are the best thing to use. Unless, of course, you've got a paint sprayer. But I'm gonna use this as much as I can you know, all over the chest of drawers. And then if there's any tight, hard to get to bits, I'm gonna use a paintbrush for those. Roll on the first layer of paint nice and evenly. Avoid dripping at all costs. Be sure to get the paint into all those nooks and crannies. do now is I'm going to paint the fronts of the drawers whilst the body of the chest of drawers is drying and uh, of course I've got a lovely little brass feature here so I want to paint carefully around that so that really stands out. Once all drawers are painted paint the knobs and allow to dry. Now you can see it's gonna need a few layers but, well, at least one more, perhaps three in total. So, uh, a couple more coats to go and we'll see how it looks. A very important thing, when you're actually rolling the paint on, you really want to keep nice, even sort of rolling techniques. So you get a lovely, smooth finish, as opposed to kind of, you know, doing a kind of spaghetti pattern um, it won't look as good and it won't be worth the effort. So um, nice and easy, nice smooth rolling technique. Now that most of it's dry, I've turned it upside down and I'm just finishing off the legs. Once I'm done with that, I can put it all together. When I walked into that charity shop and I found this chest of drawers, I knew it would be fantastic just with a new lick of paint. We've taken a very shy, humble, lonely chest of drawers 
and made it into a chest of drawers which really has attitude, which really has character. It's small, but boy does it pack a punch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing, number one, check out my website, handydraft.com. Number two, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be making a lot more of these upcycling videos and you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care for now. Bye.